Welcome back, guys. Oh, yeah, you do. This is the Athletics Ascent Podcast with your host, Miguel Espinoza and Rafael Espinoza. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. All right, so... I have a mustache now. Do you, I feel like you always... I shave. No, but <laughs> that shit grows back in two days, so it's like... I know. Um. So we didn't record... Do we, it's been two last weeks? Last week. No, no it's just last week. week so yeah, just last week. Because you lagged, but... Yeah, yeah it's getting food. No, <laughs> nah. Um, busy, just busy. Yeah. Everyone's been busy, which is good. Um, but, yeah, so this is... Yeah, so last time we're going to be here, so we're probably not going to... Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to try to figure out... Because my brother's moving out. Yeah. So he's moving out of his apartment. And... Now we're gonna have to find another place to record the podcast. So we're thinking about Yuli's house, but <laughs> we'll see. Time, bro. There's not enough yeah. space. Yeah, so we'll see if we don't end up finding a place, and we'll probably won't have a podcast next week. But we'll just, you just out. listen to the audio. Oh <laughs> uh, no, nah, dude! I That's think it's kind of late. Man. Um, but yeah, all right. So let's last see time we talked about like your TikTok and all that, huh? Yeah. How, how you posted another one? Or you posted two other ones, huh? I posted they did pretty two well. Since then. Yeah, they did well. Um, but then I quickly realized that I do not want to do more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you said you're gonna start like a YouTube I, and stuff. Yeah, no, but it's so I, See, I hate the, it. The bro. life of a college student, bro. You deal with like midterms and yeah, and it's just like it's just adding so much more to my plate that it's like it's not necessary right now, yeah. especially since you guys are doing but, like that friendly games and stuff but it would be good though i think i'm trying i think i might i'm gonna try to shoot for the summer yeah it, and maybe start it so it'd be better summer. if you have someone like following you around but yeah. obviously that's not realistic yeah and then that costs a lot of money yeah yearly's not cheap <laughs> <laughs> i wish i could do that but yeah. uh, I, I just can't it's too busy I know. He has no, I, and, that, and that's good that's what that's what i think if i would have asked yuli beginning like of everything like when when he first started working with us, he probably would have, huh? Really? Yeah. Now he's he had demand, more time, but bro. now he's like he's, he's got people, demand. which is fucking, which is good, bro. That's, that's what great. I. That's like, that's exactly what I was like, picturing for you is to get like fucking, you know, yeah. for you to be super busy. A lot of people reaching out now. So it's it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, but yeah. So yeah. Speaking of midterms, I had a midterm today. How was that? Uh, it was tough. I had to do a lot of last minute studying for <laughs> like four hours. <laughs> studied for like three and a half hours just to take a take a a forty minute exam. But I don't know. I don't know how well I did. It didn't give me a score. <laughs> Cause That's just, annoying, huh? Yeah, usually after. Yeah, well, some they give you the score after right after, but it's whatever. I, I'd rather. I to be honest, I'd rather. I'd rather have that so that now I just don't have to worry about it and just, you know, I can ease my mind because then if I were to see and I got like a, let's say a really bad grade, then I would be stressing about it. Yeah. And this would be a completely different podcast. <laughs> but, <laughs> <all> stressed out. <laughs> um, but it happened now. It's out of my control. So we'll see. We'll see what my grade is. <laughs> like at, after this podcast, I'd look at the F. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. And then. I thought I had a midterm tomorrow, but uh, it turns out that that midterm is just available throughout the week, so I can take it whenever before Sunday. Oh, that's dope. So, I'm going to wait till Sunday. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> you probably are. <laughs> no, nah, I'll, I'll probably take it on Friday or something, just so I can relax on the weekend. Um, And then for my other class, because I'm taking three classes, my other class, I have it, my midterm next week. So, don't have to worry about that one this week. But, yeah, midterms, man, so annoying. Um. Yeah, and so what's going on in your life? It's been coaching, just trying to figure out um, systems and mm. just running stuff. And, yeah, just basically trying to figure out, um, like, like, always my life. <laughs> but it's been good. Like, I, I feel like I'm finding answers, and I'm just, I'm leading, I'm leading to the right direction, uh, connecting with the right people, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm happy, bro. I'm actually happy. Like I'm actually figuring figuring out the the right stuff. Yeah, so, and I think I think we got like really good people in our lives that for sure are, you know, helping us out, guiding us, and yeah. mentoring us. So 
it's cool. I think I, I like it's it's crazy because when I think of when I think about athletic Ascent, I think of like the future is like there's just like there's no like I there's no like I never question mm-hmm. how successful it's gonna be. Like I always I just know it's gonna be successful. Yeah, I agree. I I like you know like it, it's just like to me the only reason why what we have. In, in mind for athletic ascent the only reason why we wouldn't accomplish it is if we don't want to yeah i agree you know or is if we don't put it the effort to for sure and i feel like for me i feel like i'm i was maybe wanting it too soon yeah and now that i see that you know you just gotta just work on it and not you know think about like dang like I need this amount of people now. Yeah. Instead of that, I'm just, like, going with the flow. And just watching you, for example, like, you have, you start off with, like, three clients from the same club group. Mm-hmm. And now that the word of, the word of mouth is, like, passing on, every week I see, like, another message from a yeah. different player. And it's a, another and that's, like, and I'm, like, I'm, like, asking you, I'm just, like, dude, you have another one. Like, that's sick. And you're just, like, oh, yeah, well. Yeah, I'll, I'll contact them later because I have to do this and that. You're not even worried about that. Yeah. You're more worried about, like, obviously the stuff that you have to worry about. Yeah. But just the fact that, you know, you're working, you're, you're already working with these kids. And instead of you looking for more clients, they're coming to you. Yeah. And that's kind of, and that is, it's, it's organic in that sense. And it's not to say that I don't, like, Come I don't care to, tra- to, to, no, about these not. kids. It's more so just like, okay, it's just a priority with everything. You got to prioritize your life. And right now is. You like, can't worried about it and dwell about it like too much you just gotta go with the flow yeah or yeah and then it's just and is well f- because in my life right now is i'm having games on the weekends like i have games with uci and that's my fault fo- where all my focus yeah. is on i have training every single day and that's where my focus is on so and then plus the school work that i have to do so i mean and that and that that goes into why i haven't put, been putting so much effort into athletic ascent in, um, in general like in, on the instagram and then also with the uh, with the uh, athletes that i work with it's not like um like when they they schedule is like I, I give them i give them the schedule that 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 works, that's a, that works for me and then if it works for them then cool we get a session in that week um but i, I like I do care about these athletes and I want them to succeed, but it's just right now is just so much on my yeah. plate that I gotta focus well, yeah. on. And so once in the summer, once things ease off on my on my plate, I'm able to. I agree. Work with I, them more. I feel like you, if you didn't have these priorities that you need to, you know, follow along, and you like say you just had this group just to focus on, and that's mm-hmm. it. That was your job. I feel like you, you'd be more than like you'd be like way into it. You'd be yeah. contacting them. You'd be. Just checking up on them, asking them when their games are at, and you'll probably even attend them. Yeah. Like, I feel like you'll be more involved as much as you would want to. You yeah. can't because you have your own life to yeah. figure out. And yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. But it, it is cool, though, the, like, just like the word to mouth, like you were saying, like, it's like, um, yeah. So right now, I'm working with, I'm going to be working with five kids from the same club team. Um, and, I start, and I started off with one. They're, I start, they're, they're and really they're high level, players, yeah. Right? yeah. High level players, they they're in TFA and their their team is ranked like number one in the nation or whatever. Um, That's good. Say I started off with one and then they, it now is at five, which is cool. And then my and the same thing is just like that's like the power of like the word of mouth is like for like the youth academy that I also haven't been putting so much effort in when it comes to recruiting players, like with the youth academy that we're starting off. Like I I. The one player that I started off with, who reached out to, well, whose parents reached out to work with us, um, they invited their friend over. So now mm-hmm. I have three in that group, you know. And did you refer a kid to Slimers? I tr- uh, yeah. So that kid I, I was training with, I I told him to go with. Did they end up going? So they did. So what his I spoke to his dad, and he told me that because he hasn't the highest level this kid's played is AYSO. And he's kind of been out of the mix since COVID for a little bit. And so he just started back up. That's why he wants to like start training with me. Um, and so he is still playing on his AYSO team, but his parents as well, like, yeah, like they don't, they, they, they know that he's the better one at NAYSO. Mm-hmm. 
And so it's like, okay, well, let's, let's, I'll talk to Slammers and try to get them, uh, you know, or yeah, just go and practice, whatever. But they're saying that um, he, he, he kind of felt like a little, I think he just got very nervous and I think he was, and he, it, it, it could be too that he's just not at that level yet yeah. because again, this is yeah, his first time going and it's like he's, he, he was out for quite a bit. Um, but I can easily see him getting to that level and yeah, being one of the better sure. players on that team. Um, but his dad said that, yeah, like he, he struggled a bit, but, but to me it was just like, okay, well then now we know where he's at and then let's go let's move on from there. Yeah. That's, but, um, yeah, so I did, um, I didn't speak to Jerry about it, but I spoke to his dad and his dad said that, yeah. Keep him in ASO? Mm, probably, well, just, but it's just keep him, keep training. That's basically it. Yeah. And I think he, he also like his, like mentally he was like, he saw yeah. like how yeah. it was and so he kind of like you, <laughs> so this weekend i brought out my nephew to play with me oh yeah you know max he's five right i didn't i didn't like think about it i, I just thought like i was thinking more of like ability wise like this kid could play with my age group it's seven year olds going to eight and and my nephew is like small and but he's a baller he's five. so right away i just put him in i'm like all right you're gonna play right left wing uh this is what you're gonna do just listen da, 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 da. In the middle of the game, bro, like it's like five, ten minutes in, he goes up to the ref crying and he's like, I want my mommy. Like, I want my mommy. And, I, and the ref, ref calls me up and I'm like, What's wrong? Like, did, did you get hit? And he's like, No, I want my mommy. I'm like, damn. Like, what did I just do? Did I just ruin this kid's like, soccer life? Like, is he gonna be traumatized for life? And then at halftime, I talked to him, like, What, what happened? He's like, I was. I, I, I'm scared. I was nervous. These kids are bigger than me. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, damn. Like, I didn't think that in like consideration. Like, well, because of Max doesn't give that. I did He's not right? like that. Like, like I would. I'm. I was surprised when he told me. I was surprised yeah, when he told too. me. I was too. I was like, what the heck? Because happening? he's not. He's not like that. He's always like. Any, I I didn't think he would like, ever like, fear anybody because that's the kind of kid he is it just but, it's because we just threw him in but there. but yeah it's five year old playing against seven year olds about to be eight i mean come on yeah but and then i talked to him i'm like it's okay like just have fun you don't have don't worry about like scoring or anything just try to play and pass around the ball and try to score that's it that's it and then like he then yeah and like towards the end of the game like he, he was doing better and he was like the closest one to score dude my team got destroyed but Besides that, like, he was, like, took on the kid, and he was, like, one-on-one -on -one with the ref. I mean, with the goalie. With the ref. The goalie <laughs> blocked it. But if he would have scored that, bro, he would have looked like a baller because he just did, like, you know, the Iniesta just cut in. Uh -huh. Cut in like that. And he almost scored. But he's, dude, Max He's a baller, good. dude. He's crack. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's going to be sick. I just felt bad after him. I was like, damn, dude. I didn't think oh, What did Lenny say after him? Because no? I was screaming at everyone, too. I'm like, get back. Da -da -da -da. And I was screaming at Max. Max dropped it. He's, like, he's never... Been yeah. through that, dude. So he's like, "What's happening? Why is he screaming?" At I think me? he's only played like two official games. That's, yeah. Oh damn, that's that's not a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, throw him in the deep end, whatever. It was funny. Now, now he. Throw him in the sharks. Yeah. Now Basically, he, what I did. No, I I say you still invite him out to play with. No, him. No, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think he. He's a baller. No, he's good. Um. Well, I was gonna say, because we kind of mentioned it. Um, why we haven't been posting on Athletic Ascent? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, dude. Like, well, same thing, Raf. Uh, because at first, like towards the beginning of like everything, all this, I was in charge of everything, and then Raf got more involved, and now he runs at the, the Instagram page. But like, we're he's like busy as heck now, like so he can't be like record sessions or sometimes like it's like oh, do I really have to go do it? And yeah, so we haven't been posting. Um. We could be doing more, but we just, like, like we said, we're both still f figuring out our lives. Do you want to add more to that? Well, I'm just saying, this really just comes back to prioritizing. Exactly. But, but, and so right now, it's... That's it why wasn't I'm taking a step as a back. priority. That's why I'm taking a step back, but, um... And I also want to take a different approach to it. I, I, I agree. I feel like, well, me, I was... Yeah, we were so... Well, this is my point of view. We were so emphasizing the, the brand itself, it's like I said, that... We were, you know, well, at least for me, I wasn't putting myself out there like, who are you? You know? Yeah. I think you were trying to do that, though. I know, but, like, not as much as I would want to. And that's why, like, now my page, I, I started just focusing on that. 
Uh-huh. And it's, I mean, it's gained traction. I mean, yeah. I I just I just think it's just more like when posting on Athletic Ascent, it's just it's a lot of you know having to go to the field, even if you're not gonna get a session, just having to go to the field and record a, a specific drill, drill yeah. or record record something or have to edit something for it. You know, because at the end of the day, I, if I'm gonna post something, I want it to be, you know, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like. I want it to be good. Like I, I want it to be actually like, like ha- be impactful if someone watches it or reads it or can actually help somebody. I don't want to just post something because I haven't posted in a while. You know that kind of shit. Have so, you thought of a little post that you would want to mm, go for or not? Yet? No, I haven't really thought about it because, like I, I like I told you the other day, like my mind is just yeah. I've like mentally clocked out of everything else, you know. So I haven't really been able, like you know, you referred a book to me, and I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna be able to read it because I just can't. It's a good book. Yeah, my book too. <laughs> yeah, dude, I read like chapter one, and then I was over it. <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah. Well, I. Oh yeah, I give it. I give that back to you. <laughs> so I, yeah, you yeah, I, I give it back to you. It's a good book though. The first chapter was good. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been mentally clocked out of anything that's not doesn't have to do with with my own personal soccer career um i mean it's selfish but that's what i need to do in order for me to yeah you have to do no one else is gonna do this for you you know but uh yeah i mean soon we'll we'll get back to it once we feel like we have the yeah the time and we have the because it's the same thing like same thing with like the tiktoks like yeah it was fun to do it the day in the life you know the first day in the life it was fun to do it and then the second day in the life was like, okay, kind of like exciting because I'm going off of the momentum I got from the first one. But then the third one was just kind of like, okay, I kind of have to post this one because people are asking for a game day vlog. And so I posted it just for those people. And then now it's just kind of like, okay, I don't really want to post another day in the life because I, it's not that exciting anymore. You know, I already did it once. Yeah, it's so, the same thing. Yeah, so now it's just more of like trying to find something else that excites me that I can do. And then I'll do that. And it's, I mean... Look, like, from the last time I posted, when it was, like, this, like, dumb, like, the one that actually, like, blew up, it was, like, a couple months ago. It was, like, a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. And then I posted Day in Life, and then that one blew up, and then, so, I mean, with TikTok, you know, it's unpredictable, you can just blow up on nowhere, so. I have to, to, oh, I told you, I got 2,000 followers, though, in two weeks, so, Uh like, a little more than two weeks, but. That's good. Sick, bro. Yeah, and then I've, I've been getting a lot of people DMing me questions and stuff like that and like that's good i mean i respond to a lot of them but to, i got over it yeah, <laughs> no nah, i didn't get like, I, because it's the same questions over and over again so you just make a video for no i how to do or uh, it's not or or they're like similar questions but then it's just kind of like maybe something's a little different or or whatever but i got on i got on zoom calls with like three guys oh, that's and dope. then i like individually and i spoke to them and you know, let them ask me questions for 30 minutes and I just answered all their questions. And yeah, I got one guy, um, I trying to remember where he's from, I forget. But uh, there's another guy from Florida. His name was, um, it's funny, his name is Rafael. Um, he's from Florida. He's a freshman in high school and it was cool. He, he has like a really good mentality. I think he's, he, the way he's thinking about things, the way he's like, you know, yeah, just like approaching everything and what he's what he was telling me. It sounds like this kid is gonna be like, like okay, he's gonna yeah. make he's he can he can make it far, um, just by the way he was speaking. That's what I I, I kind of got from it. Um, and then I spoke to another kid who, um, is I think it Brazil. No, I don't think it's no. It's not Brazil. Colombia. I think he's from Colombia. Speak Spanish to him? No, he's speaking English. <laughs> and he he's he's a senior. He's seventeen. I, th- I think he's seventeen, and he wants to come out here and play soccer. But he 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 got accepted into a school um, here in the United States. I don't know where. I forgot where. But he got accepted here in the United States. But it was for his school. Mm-hmm. It wasn't for um, soccer. So he was just saying like, what are the possibilities of me being able to be on a team? Like get on the college team and stuff like that, and I was like, "Do they have tryouts?" No, I'm like, "Huh? Do they have tryouts for?" 
Uh, not really. I mean, they have ID camps, but I don't really. I don't think the ID camps are really for like. They're more for like high schoolers stuff yeah. like that. But uh, we spoke. I spoke to him a little bit about that, and then discussed it all. And yeah, but yeah, it was cool. I thought I thought it was cool. And then I got more people wanting to get on calls with me and stuff. So try to find a right time to do that. Um. So if you yeah. guys want to get on the free call, call message drive on TikTok. <laughs> Uh, yeah I mean there's some kids that I didn't get back to for like like two days because I saw their message and then I I forgot to respond and two days later I saw it again I was like oh damn I'm like sorry I forgot yeah. <laughs> but yeah did my neck yeah stress bro I've been trying no, to it's not it's, it's not stress I mean it's more just like busy and so like I'm just tired yeah. I'm not I'm not Cause I'm not like I'm honestly not stressing about anything. I'm just more so like I mean, the thing I I would be stressing about is like midterms, but but it isn't. I'm not really stressing. I'm just just more like I gotta do it, yeah. and it's like that's what you want to do. Yeah, so it's just more being tired, not necessarily being stressed. Like if I had the energy to get on all these calls and I'll get on all these calls the energy and the time to get on these calls, I would. But there's times where I have time available, but I'm just exhausted, so I just wanna. Yeah. You know, take a nap or something. But yeah, that's that's a bit of me. Um, don't know what else to be honest. How yeah. long? How much? How long are you? Twenty minutes. Twenty? Only twenty? We gotta keep talking. But we have to. Super League. Oh. Ah, uh, it's kind of old. Care about no, that. it's kind of old news now, bro. Yeah, that was good for last week. Yeah, that would have been a good topic last week, but this is old news. It's just people want to hear. It's whack. It was whack. It's all about money. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Super League, whack. Okay. What's Pulisic. next topic? Pulisic, first Sorry. American to score in the semifinals. Really? Yeah, that's pretty sick. And you said he had the most goals in. Yeah, in Champions League. Uh, uh most American players to score. American. Yes, five. Beast. I was going to look that up, but, you know. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, and. The goalie from Man City, what's his name? Zach Steffen, whatever. Oh, yeah. Two. No, that's for this. Oh. Uh, uh, huh? This season. What, Michael? Uh, Zach Steffen. He's, he won a, a trophy. For the, the. What do they call it? The Carabao no, Cup? Carabao Cup? UFO Cup? Yeah, they, he won that trophy. And it's, I like how like his, his, his university that he played with. Like, they're all, like, mm. posting it. He's like, oh, my God, like this. He really? Yeah. Oh, I just crazy. felt that. That's sick. Like, maybe, like, if you play, like, in a sick tournament or, like, you win something. Like, you see, I posted you. Like, yeah, well, you see, I was always posting, like, when them. when players sign yeah. pro contracts. Yeah, I've seen that. That's pretty cool. Who? Yeah, cycles. Yeah. Um, Chicharitos. Damn, he's got a hat He's fucking balling right now. He has five goals in two games. Yeah, and last season he had one goal. Really? <laughs> Damn. He had one goal all season. Yeah, he's baller. Five Sasha, goals. Sasha Klingston, I think that's his name. He, I, I, I coach his son. Oh, yeah. He's a baller, too. Um, Wait, he's on your team? Not my team, but he's in the juniors. Oh, okay. So help him, I help him out. Wait, double check that. Does Chicharito only have one goal last season, right? Yeah, he did. You only had one? Name is I remember that. I'm like, damn, this feels like kind of fell off. <laughs> I'm like, bro, he's on to his, his... What does he do? Um, Twitch? Oh, yeah. No, streaming. streaming. Well, he still does it, though, I think. No, I know he does. But is it wait? So he is it true he got a divorce? I don't know. Right, Yuli? Well, I'm not sure. I haven't heard that. But yeah, watch. Divorce. divorce. What are you looking up? She's doing her nine years deny separation while his wife. Nine years together. I mean, they're, they're while his wife sh- says it was a year of shit. That's fucked up. It was twenty first. Yeah, that's twenty first. Oh, so it's not even like a f- like actual proof confirmed. She's trying to turn in. Yeah, it's just rumors. Oh, the rumors. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought that was real. But actually, I was listening to an interview when he was speaking, and he was saying something about like 
how like he's just like he's super excited for the season or something and then he was saying that like I'm doing this for he said my he said he said my family uh, I think my friends and my kids he didn't really say like my wife so like what, what do you mean like playing? yeah like he's like damn you think mentally like he's over soccer? like he's like ugh. No, I think this is. I think this year, I think no, I don't. Like he's he's been talking about like how motivated he is for the season. Oh, okay. He oh, had yeah. two goals. He has five goals and two games. He had two goals last time. Uh, oh, two goals last season. Last season, yeah. Twelve appearances. Only. Probably got injured. I don't know. Why well, was a short season? Yeah, it was a short season. Yeah. Oh, yeah, COVID. Huh. Oh. Yeah, five goals is. Well, Chicha, he now has five goals. Yeah. So that's sick in two games. Well, we'll see. Do you think Alvaro's going to get time? Oh, yeah, Alvaro. So, you know that, Yuli, right? Alvaro, he played at um, UCI last year. He just graduated. He um, he signed for LAFC. Oh, yeah. So he officially signed. So he got he was drafted. Um, What's his name? Alvaro. Bro, I've actually interviewed him. You interviewed him, huh? Zan? Put, put Q. Quizada, yeah. Damn, right there. I don't know. Yeah, put the MLS soccer one, right? Yeah, MLS soccer one? Alright, I was gonna look up him and just put it right. That was three days ago, yeah, it says right there. LAFC to sign 2021 Super Draft. Third round pick. Yeah, which is sick because he. He's. Because uh, there's, uh, there's two other players who were at UCI. One who was my year, his name is Molina. Well, his last name is Molina. Roberto Molina. And then um, Danny, who was there the year before I got into UCI and was at OCSC after UCI. He, um, They both signed with LAFC but are on loan with Las Vegas Lights in the USL. And Alvaro's on the, like the first team. Yeah, he signed for LAFC. So he's like with LAFC. He's not alone. So that's pretty. Fu- that's pretty sick. Hey, tell him why. Tell him why you think he. Okay. He well, well, no. I mean, he's a good player yeah, regardless. Like he, ball, he's man. a good player. But um, like what I heard is that he was the first one at the at the locker room. So he was showing up early. The first one in the locker room, um, and the last one to leave the locker room. And he was always asking questions. He was always trying to learn and and get better but at at uci he was a player who when the coach was talking he was taking notes like he had a little notepad and he would take notes on on whatever the topic was for that day or whatever um so yeah the way yossi coach at uci kind of like he's, he he just defined it as like he, or Described him as like a, an like this. He's like a perfect example of a, of this of a student of the game. Mm-hmm. Like he's always like wanting to learn and get better. So yeah, I mean that's sick. Big congrats to um, Alvaro. That's dope. If you guys wanna know a little about Alvaro, um, I'm just kidding. Uh, Raf, you you interviewed him during the COVID thing, huh? Oh yeah, it was just kind of just like, oh, how you been? Like, yeah, what are you doing? That's like dope. That. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. We have an MLS interview. <laughs> <laughs> this guy he, um and then but I just found out um Owen who played at Pats with me mm-hmm. um his name's Owen Lamb he was playing at uh, Cal State Fullerton oh he, he signed up. he signed with um um LA Galaxy 2 Damn. and this is LA Galaxy 2 that's dope but that's cool yeah so all these players getting yeah, signed. Yeah, a lot of local through. players are getting signed. It's, it's that's sick. Good, it's pretty sick. That's what we want. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a good place to end it, right? 30 minutes. Don't, don't give up, guys. You got this. Yeah, so. Next is Rob. Huh? Next is you. Getting signed? Yeah. You yeah. can see me up there. With my man, bud. Signing for Red Bulls. I don't know. Oh, and then, um... Frankie and Frankie, Maya, and uh, Cameron Harper. They're, they're both at Red Bulls, which is pretty sick. Former Pats players. 
It's sick because I have um I have pa- um like players that I played at Pats with on Snapchat, and then they went to the game when they played uh, against Galaxy, Galaxy, and they're recording um Frankie. They 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 like at the end Frankie and Cameron went to up to them at the end of the game and they're like oh that's dope and then take pictures of them so that's pretty sick that is yeah, sick dope. imagine yeah that's dope but um yeah that's sick yeah, so, bro. soon soon alright wanna do that one <laughs> yeah uh thank you guys for watching uh another episode of Athletic Ascent um we will be posting on our page soon but go ahead and follow that. And follow our personal pages. And then go follow Yuli because he's popping off right now. And then book a book a photo shoot with him. Or a video shoot. Or a call with us. Or a call with us. Alright. Later.